Hello, and welcome to part three of this Untamed Screencast tutorial. Next, we're going to be adding a call to action section for our page directly under our slider, as well as three equal width text rows that will be responsive whenever we move the browser around. So, let's get started. We have successfully integrated our carousel. Next, I like to maybe give a comment and say that the carousel is now done. So that is the end part of the carousel. It's nice to have your HTML well documented so you never really get lost. So let's integrate our call to action. First we'll give a div with a class of row. and the row class will make sure that all of the content within this section folds exactly like we expect it to incorrectly. Next, we will add a div with a class of span 9, since we want 9 columns to be taken up by our heading text. After that, we will add a button that is floated right. So, offset by 1 and we have given a class of float right to everything within this row. And also, we will give an ID to this row of call to action, just to make sure that everything is understandable and well readable. So, let's see what happens whenever we do refresh this area on our page. So, let me drag my browser over and as you can see we refreshed it and now we have our nice call to action statement and in accordance to the Z design understanding we are moving from our brand over to our call to action and ending in the logical point of the action taken great so our call to action statement has been taken care of next what we we'll want to do is to integrate our columns so to do that, we can start up another row. After that, simply paste in this column code, and I will explain it to you directly after. All right, so we have three equal columns, each with a class of span four. The way you can add that up is simply four times three is 12. And so we know that we want three columns, so each of our columns will have a span class of four in order to make sure that they spread the full width and take up an equal portion of space. Now, you should note that you can kind of mix these numbers up to whatever you'd like your um, site to look like, but the three equal columns is always kind of a nice, and, if not classic, touch. Let's refresh and see what we have. And if we click refresh, need to save and now we'll refresh and as you can see we have our span fours with our button under each our text as well as our headings and that is as simple as it gets it um, to integrate a good quality call to action statement with an action button and three easy to use responsive columns to go underneath. And there you have it. In the next section, we'll just be finishing up with our footer and just a general overview of our page.